We know it's afternoon now. Yo, breezy. We're at 18. 1800 followers. Wild. Appreciate uh, everyone that's been coming by and hanging out as well. Look at them textures loading in. <laughs> there goes that. There goes that. Good stuff. You know what this looks like? Wait, the outfit that my guy's wearing right now? It looks like the Inquisitor outfit in uh, uh, Star Wars. Star Wars The Old Republic. I've spotted something. I've spotted something. What have you spotted? Oh, everybody's dead. Oh, God. Switch to another. Oh, uh, whoops. Oh, uh, you can switch between F and R. That's actually pretty cool. The salamander turns away from you with a hiss and a wee. Do we kill the salamander? <laughs> now, he, now he doesn't like us. So the man betrayed us. And we had to kill him. We had no other choice. The Red Prince. Find the Red Princess. Oh, she's all the way up there. Jeez. Wait, what is going on? My character is like freaking out. Looking, looking left and right. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Tarquin real quick. See if he has any more information. Ah, you again. Any luck in old lady so thing? Find the tomb where Joanna Surrey is buried. Retreat Tarquins. I hate to sound so condescending. Ah, it's a quandary, you see. I'm not exactly welcome in the stone garden. The servants that tend the graves, well, their master. This can't say why. I'm as gentle as can be. Well, huh. That's a relief. Not the most accommodating sorcerer I've known. Still, I'd sooner toil outside the gates than in. His or do enjoy yourself in the. All right, cool. Damn, everybody's blowing me up on Twitter today. What's going on? Hello, friends. If anybody is here from that. Um. Ta-da! <laughs> Ah, Slayer. Hey, thank you for the uh, host there. Appreciate it. <laughs> See, can we actually open the door now? Above. Look at all these bones. Oh, shit. Pog. Pog Jam. Uh, so all that equipment was level 14, so I can't use any of that. Let me check these books here. Wait, can you just double click them? Oh, you can. Dude, I've been... Every time, I've literally been right-clicking and clicking read. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's that, and I think, yeah, I think that's, that's it, pretty much. It's just like, ta-da. It only goes off for regular hosts, though. Oh, shoot. Need to close this out. Um, if it's like a... Uh, if it's like a... Um, like auto host or something like that, it doesn't go off. Hmm. I've spotted something. It's broken. Uh, I see it. Still sounds stuck. Must be more to it. Must be more to it. Hmm. Wait. This won't be of any use. It's broken. It's broken. This won't be of any use. 
What is your raid alert? I think use. it's a um This won't be of any God. this won't be of any use. If I remember correctly, it's like a oh shit, there's a button. I've spotted something. Ah, success. Um it's like I think it's a black bear song. It's like a party ah, song or whatever. Shut tight. Now I will say now I, I I'm just gonna say it just because like we're talking about alerts. So the ones that I have the biggest variations for are following, subs. Following has the most, subs has like uh five or six, but then raids there's only like one or two i think uh hosting there's like one and then donations there's like 10 to 15. there's a ton <laughs> but they never go off because i don't get any donations and that's okay but i'm just waiting for the day where maybe if there are some coming through everyone is going to be different and they're all like some are funny some are long some are short like it's uh yeah, there's tight. a lot in there, but uh, I, I like having that variation so that way it's not just the same thing every time <laughs> Yeah, strawberry lemonade. Hey, thank you for the uh, follow there Did you follow wait? Did you follow yesterday or did you just unfollow and refollow so it would play something else? <laughs> I lurked yesterday. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Gotcha. Hey, well, I appreciate it anyways. No, the door. Well, now you can hear it too. Quick. Uh oh. Starberry. Ah, you're right. My bad. Strawberry. Starberry lemonade. There's a trick to that room. I don't remember. It's shut tight. Let's see. What? It's shut tight. It won't budge. How inconvenient. How inconvenient. So that, that turns this on. <laughs> Can't talk now. Okay, so when you release it, that happens. But then, huh? Maybe if you go press this button. Oh, maybe that's it. I'll have one person. Did you get ah uh, yeah 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 mm, I don't see any spirits in here aha smart the levers it's locked fast hold the lever conk Maybe it's connected to some other mechanism. Maybe it's connected to some other mechanism. It's locked fast. All right, so let me Maybe guess. You have to have somebody some standing mechanism. there. Yeah. All right. Middle. What did that do? Left. Oh, okay, not that. Middle. That's not really what oh. I had in mind. Right. Maybe this one. Left. This one. <laughs> you were close earlier. Does it reset each time? I think it's middle, right, left. But if I do middle, I'll try a different order. Oh, the electrified water is what you want. What did that do? What did that do? I could have gone better. This one. What did that do? 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 Wait, did we get it? Uh, wait, I got it? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Holy fire. Yo. I think. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Once I started realizing her health wasn't going down by too much, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna click, 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 click. What a shame. All this wealth's just been going to waste. <laughs> Uh oh lay sentinel oh god something about this doesn't feel right before finishing our quest line huh <laughs> gold pile gold pile this flight is tough took me a while oh god watch it be like a uh like a chicken chicken fight oh and one person says it was fairly easy so I guess we'll have to wait and see you can I like how you can light this chandelier you know it's a love-hate relationship but like I kind of like why wasn't that plate there when I clicked on the thing you know like you have to specifically click on it I hate how it doesn't indicate like chests and stuff like that too. Like if I press alt, it says gold pile, but it doesn't say like ornate chest too. I feel like it's easy to miss that kind of stuff sometimes. Aero, hydro, comp. So I just need to CC them to death. That's kind of how my, um, I. Uh, Low C mm. is won't budge. Aha, unusual I artifact. Unusual. Oh no, you know this language. It is an archaic tongue spoken only by demons for untold. When as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living. Restore my twin, make me whole. In archive of old, the blade resides. An Isle of Blood, where demons abide. The oblong object is crystal clear and unmarked by marks or chips. It rests snugly in your palm, as if meant to be gripped with a resolute hand. The object repeats its cryptic remarks. Hmm. Is that it? What the hell? Oh shit. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was coming. Chat, are you ready for this? Wait. Oh, they only have 57 health. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally has swords in my build. Might be annoying for you without AoE or CC. I have this. Huh. I don't the one thing is I don't really have any AoE on this guy. But Incarnate with power infusion, true. And use whirlwind. Oh, that guy heals them. Oh god, they all take a turn. <laughs> oh god, I don't usually set up turnums anymore. Some of them seem to be doing like okay for me recently. 
but I need AOE and CC. I see. Now I see. Well, luckily a lot of their turns are being skipped because they literally can't do anything. Nice. Uh, it's actually not. I feel like this isn't going too bad. I wish you could attack these before they came out. To the dock with you. Thought there was another boss involved when I fought went through this. Maybe there is. Ready? Pick of the fight. <laughs> All except for one. Winter Blast. I will try that. Yeah. You get summoning the 10 and the elemental infusion totems are more of a nice bonus to have something you actually actually set honestly at this rate i think i'd just rather just like do this ability uh the 10 and the elemental infusions totems are more of a nice bonus to have than something you actually set okay How much health does this guy? Wait, why does that look like there's one more alive? Oh, he's right there. That's why. Uh, my in incarnate should probably take him out though. So I'll do this. You know what? We'll even do this. Becomes infinitely more useful. Ooh. I can't wait now. <laughs> Wait, my, my incarnate didn't get to do anything. I thought he was gonna do something. Target is too far, oh, okay. That's my luck. Are you kidding me? All right, well, it's gonna die in a second. What did she say? There it is. Anathema. They're dead. Damn. Well, more dead. What a mess. GG's, Clay's, GG's. You can nuke bosses pretty easily depending on the infusion too. Ooh. So... This thing wait, you get like an infusion? Um, but what is it trying to say? For, for what? Not too late to leave it where you found it. This present doesn't re reassure me, whatever it does. Must unlock its secrets. Sounds like a demon with a swollen tongue. No wonder if what's inside. Wild guess here, but I'll wager this relic will turn out useful for killing. It has a nice rhythm to it, doesn't it? Kind of like a song. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, Tarquin's not a bad guy, but... I guess we'll find out. Elemental infusion change the elements of the incarnate. Oh, okay. Is that another ability? I guess you can get. Okay, I have power infusion, shadow, farsight. I see. I see now. So it would be elemental infusion. They don't have to set services. Okay. Cool. Cool. No matter what you're looking, show him the object you found. What is it? He places his hand on the artifact, and it drones in the From demonic tongue. Combining spellbooks. Okay. One, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living. Restore the object continues. In our source infusions are pretty strong resides. because you get and source skills. Blood, it's true, then. Tell true. Me, is this all there was? 
There weren't any other curios in there. He knows the demonic tongue. Assure him that the object pulses with an immense power. It must be what he was seeking. Amazing. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. It's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating anyone. Even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. I see now. A sword of life and death. Miracle and sin. I can restore anathema to working condition. But this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. Since he's out of his mind, Scholar confront. My friend, I consider it my scholarly duty to know what I can of all that lives and unlives. Look. True. You rightfully consider me a scoundrel. Or perhaps you'd rather place your trust in someone else. Maybe Dallas. I'm sure she'd love to have a weapon that can destroy a god woken with a simple wink. Well, well, well. Blood Moon mm. Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time. Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. Okay. Works for me. Uh, I hope we got. Yeah, we got that. We definitely got that one too. Uh, da -da -da -da. Salamander. I mean, we're right here. Does anyone know what you have to do to the salamander? I am level 13 right now. I mean, if the salamander is a quick and easy quest, um, I can do that real, real fast. Or I can just look it up, to be honest. But, just curious. On the family, investigate the blood moon. I have so much other stuff still too. They'll have the Marge, the Troll, Anna, the Witch. Spoiler Wreckers Cave. I got separated when I got there, so I was like, bro. I teleported right out of there and I was like, nope, not doing this. Not right now. Search for the rest of the four heroes valuables. Oh, so that's the only one left we need because we got the other three. That's pretty cool. Uh, sawmill, ancient. Oh, wait, there is there one there too? Oh, there's two more, I guess. Look at those teleport pyramids. It's uh, cheat around the separation. Genius. I think that area is level 12 too, and I was like level 9 when I got there. <laughs> I did pick up that. Um, wait, can you access it through? So, like, if I have all these characters separated, can I move the teleporter from one character to another? This is a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I was way too low level for that. Speak with a salamander. Uh, cursed ring. Wear the ring. Find the fugitive witch. That at. Okay. Companions. That's all the way up there. If I remember correctly, the right side of the map is all like pretty much safe areas. Or not safe, but like my level areas. Um. You can send the pyramid to different characters even when they are separated they are considered to be in your party Ooh, hot smart uh all right we saved so let's give this a try i didn't get to this one yet wait teleport pyramid can't be used in a restricted area i have these though what is this Grasp of the starved. Undead hands rise. Each character sets crippled. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Scoundrel 3. I don't think anybody has that. If anything, him. But. Nah. Ice fan. 
you already know this skill? Okay. Let's uh get that ready to be sold. Dang. Band of knives. Yeah, it requires a dagger too, so I'm not even gonna worry about that one. Da, 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 da. Unusual artifact. Whoops. Let me just open up every single menu. <laughs> open and close every menu. Uh, divinity to salamander. Speaking in forked tongues. Wait, is that it? No. Oh wait, maybe it is. Salamander's area is past the area for the Ethan's quest. It's like level 14. That's how I got to it anyway. Okay. That's up here. Wait, what? Password? Wait. So, what a lizard speak to it? Move it out of the flame so you can speak to it. In Stonar, you can find a lizard's chest in between two fire breathing statues. Move it out of the flame so you can speak to it. Wait, what? That's completely different than what I have right now. Yeah, that's wait this is weird though but it doesn't say important npcs it says spirit of the lizard so literally it says speaking in forked tongues objective move the chest from the fire speak to the chest find the password open the chest but literally when you open up this it says speak with the salamander what i'm so confused it doesn't say anything about that in the uh in the uh information but it's the same quest i mean i can try it the salamander's tongue the lizard takes a step i'll move back over to the um to the fire that chest The chest before you is re you lean into it. How do you move it? Got it. The chest before you is wreathed in flame. You lean in to examine the images further. The chest before you hear a deep rumbling from inside. This chest recognizes Consul Zara as master. Speak her words or return me to the flames. 
This chest does not answer the question. The words of Consul Zara are not inane babbling. Speak them or be silent. The chest before you hear a, the chest responds with more hissing. <laughs> The chest before you hear this chest read this the words of Consul Zara are not inane babbling. Speak them or be silent. I don't think he has high enough. Uh, yeah. The chest. Consul Zara would rather see her ashes in the please on a Hog. Ha ha ha, got him. Wait. Is that it? That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> GG's chest. GG's. <laughs> uh. All right, areas by level, Reaper Coast. Okay, so yeah, um, so looking at this. Uh, so this area right here is 12 and 14, so I can actually probably go do this. This is 12, right here is 15. This is 14, 14, 14. I mean, I'm pretty close to 14 as well. But since right now I'm 13, I can probably go over here and knock this out, especially if that's a level 12 quest. Um, this is all like, this area is all 10. And yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go over here, do this quest, and then maybe check out this. Uh, that's 15, so I probably don't wanna do that yet. 12, this is 11, 11, we pretty much cleared out all this area, and yeah, so we'll do that, then we'll go up here, because then we should be like close enough to level 14 anyways. Oh, whoops. Cool, cool. Uh, let me just make sure that there's nothing else around here. All in the family. Okay, so that's up there. Journal. Chat over Driftwood. I could still go do that too, actually. Journal. Law of the Order. That's in there too. Search the Wreckers Cove. Search the Wreckers. Explore the Wreckers Cove. Should I do Wreckers Cove before I go to here? Is it worth doing Wreckers Cove at least? So the rest of the here is valuable as we got that. Treat it like you find that fugitive running with the pack. Get source point after doing the Wrecker's Code quest. Like a source source point or ability. I mean I could. Um a point, okay. Uh hold on one second, I'm gonna sucks that I have to travel all the way back over there but uh do these um do these traders do they get um new items added over time or are they just like that's all they have raw su supplies I mean it looks like they do because I think some of the stuff I've never seen before but I'm not sure yeah they get new items when you hit certain levels uh, Dope. Oh, yo. Hey, yo. Sick, bro. I think uh, when you level, it's four, I think. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, raise bone window. Oh, yeah. I need to go through my abilities, too, because I did get some new ones. Turn. Uh, for two turns, your target's vitality cannot be reduced below one point. Uh Decaying touch. Dominate. Or door to eternity. 
So into the round here, the status of uh, dying and damage is appearing when their life runs out. Whoa. But that requires a source point. They restock at every level for every or every hour. Oh well. Damn, that's quick. Supercharger, target totem or summon deals 100% base damage. Oh, I already have this. Global cooling. I think she has that ability, but I don't know if she has it learned. No, she doesn't. So I'm gonna get that. Those characters in this path are maybe burning, necrofire, disease. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get that. You can have a max of three source points for each character. Really? What? Since when? What? I thought you could only have one. That's why there's a... Well, right now, I guess I can only have one. How do you get it so you can carry more? Ted and so they travel between them up to four times, geez. Oh yeah, dude, I need to get, um, crap. I need to get by like the teleportation skill. You have to complete some quests. Okay. Gotcha. Damn, that like comes out to like almost perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Trader Bree. Without the Driftwood stuff, you'll eventually find a list of source uh, source masters to learn source skills from. They will also unlock a source point for you. Until later, then. I really need to find the uh that damn ability. It kind of sucks that bless is a ability like a required use thing. I don't have anything in the backpack. I think I'm going to put some potions in there. I wish Bless wasn't didn't require a source point, but kind of like spirit vision. Devil Horn. Honestly, I, I literally like never use that ability. And I guess one of them. However, if you pet, if you have pet pal, I wouldn't recommend doing her quest for the source point because you will lose pet pal. Oh, really? You don't have to use Bless that often, to be honest. That, that is true. Just kind of wish that it, you could, you know. That's all. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put in Infect. Supercharge. And need more memory slots. Just switch it when I need it, true. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Could do that. Never forget it. So when I, if I cast or quick question, if I cast um power infusion, shadow infusion, and farsight infusion all at the same like not at the same time, but one after each, the other on the incarnate, does that level or increase the damage by twenty five percent each time? So like 25, 50, 75. It, I, he'll get them all. But does it stack? So like it'll provide 176 physical armor. Uh, this one will do invisible and strike foes corrosive. And then this one is magic. Once you hit level 10, a Colossal Incarnate Champion will answer your summons. 
Oh yeah, I can't wait to hit the next level then. Hell yeah. Okay, cool. Sprout wings the spy. Okay. Uh I'm gonna remove one of these. Yes, they do according to Reddit. Cool, cool. See that's why I usually cast them. But okay, cool. Um Together, raise a walking pile of bones which can I'm consume a port right. uh, corpse to restore to vitality and receive a You're it's the last one that i want to get i'm gonna remove bull horns and take that instead damn look at that bar i love i actually love seeing this All right, so let me move my healing abilities. So that's a healing. Dominate mine. I kind of do these like by priorita prioritization, prioritize. So like these are my first abilities that I cast. And then I try to do these. And then I try to do shackles of pain and then mosquito swarm. If I need to do physical damage, I do either one of these. But I hate how close you have to be for decaying touch. But it has came in useful death wish. Sometimes. Actually, I'm going to put death wish over there. That guy down here. And then die. Oh, and then dies. I just realized that. I mean, you can use that on totems. I feel like that's okay. Blood rain may be useful. True. Yeah, what's going on, Phantom? Um, blood rain. Wait, do I? I don't. I don't think I have the blood incarnate. Yeah, I don't think I have them yet. Then. Infect. All right, so that's like a. Should I swap those two? Maybe this one seems pretty good. Let's put that right there. There was a skill book for Blood Rain in Act One and Fort Joy. Oof. I missed it. Death Wish, Blood Sucker. Okay, so these are like our buffs. Sprout Wings. This is also a buff. Kind of a buff. That's my source ability. However, you can craft the skill book by combining a Hydro and a Necro skill book. I actually haven't done any of those yet. So like, what, do you go to like the crafting screen? Inventory, skill panel, crafting. Yeah, so you go like here. And then if you have like the, um, I guess one of the, a, what, a necro book and a hydro. Okay. I don't think I have any right now, at least. Oh, I do a have a high tier, uh, necrosam necromancies skill book. So if I found a hydro one. I could try it. Let's see. Calm as a coiled spring. Glad to see you well. Does she have one? I don't think so. Yeah. You can't like combine it like this, right? Like these are completed books. You can't like tear them down or anything like that. Oh, you can combine them? So, like, if I take, like, a Winter Blast or something, is it any book? At all? Yes? What? What? <laughs> Just choose the cheapest? All right. I mean, it looks like the cheapest is 228. I did not know that you could do this. All right, so I'm going to take Rain, right? So I'm going to add currency, buy that, then take your leave, 
then go to the crafting panel then to uh where is it so if we buy rain and we put that so these two rain and high tier valley combination i'm all right as long as i don't think about it too much you're safe among friends never forget it. right it with the blank skill book Okay, so you're saying if I take like an, a regular one. So you're saying buy like a regular blank can't be used? Oh, Q2 completed. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Let me buy another one. Do I have, wait, do I have any? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, so can it be any? Will it just like create a random one? Or like, I'm, I'm still kind of confused how that works. All right, I'll take this one. Yes, yes, of course. Until later, then. Thanks. Now, G, right? Yeah. Combine a non-elemental book with an elemental one. Okay, so if I take Bloodsucker and... Wait. Rain. Combine. Blood Rain skill book. Dope. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I need. <laughs> I need, uh. Crap. I need Hydro 1 in order to use it now. Douse fire services. If you put source skill, uh, source skill book, you will get bloodstorm. You can combine a non elemental skill book with an elemental one. Wait, so if you, if you put a source skill book, you will get. Oh. So if I put raining, blood, and like this door to eternity one that'll make it bloodstorm is that correct because that's a source skill book technically or i could do like steam lance No, just one elemental skill and the other. And other. I'm confused. Uh, I don't think it works like that. There's a skill spell recipe online now. Receive among friends. Never forget it. What happens if I do like Medusa and like I'm curious. Medusa and like I don't know. Let's uh let's let's do some combinations here, actually. Let's let's give it a shot. The raised bloated corpse. Bone. I'm gonna I'm gonna try some things. Can you do a conjure with anything? So if you combine a summoning spell with an elemental spell, you'll unlock all the elemental infusions. I think I understand. So if I do like Conjure Incarnate and combine it with a like whatever the cheapest one is, like this guy, Restoration, that will give me a a something. So Hypo plus Summoning is Water Infusion. Okay. And then if you take like a, uh, I think I, I think I understand. Hero plus summoning is electric. Okay, gotcha. But you have to, so you have to combine them beforehand. So you have to have one of each. So in order for me to do like a arrow, so I, I would have to buy a conjure. And then after I have that conjure, then I would need an arrow skill. 
and then after I have that arrow skill, um, then once I get another conjure, then I can get a poison one. Like that, I guess, technically. Doesn't have to be conjure, just any summoning skill plus element. Oh. Oh. Just try it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna give it a shot. We're just gonna jump right into it. <laughs> uh okay, so just any summoning skills then. So what are the cheapest guys? Actually, let me just do by gold value. Wait, that's highest. The cheapest will be down here. So take this guy and this guy, then this guy and this guy. Wait, that's two of the same, I think. But then, also, wait, is that necromancy? Oh, no, that's necromancy. I need a summoning. Right, 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 right. I got you. Elements are flame, water, earth, and air. There are other merchants with skill books, too. True. I'll check them out as well. So, all right. So we have... I need another summoning ability. So there's one. So there's one. There's one. Then... We take this one and now I need so that's earth water I need an arrow ability does necromancer abilities do they um combine with anything good same thing I guess maybe but I don't know I mean we can try it All magic, uh, one sec. All magic schools have combinations, but necro is not equal to summoning. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Exactly what we needed. <laughs> Actually, though. Control the force of nature, increasing the movement speed of your allies by 1.5. Actually, I'm going to get that, too. Um, nether swap. I think I already have that. Okay, well, I need to buy a cheap one as well. So let me do buy gold value again. Um, does polymorph combine into anything? I think I'm going to take my points out of polymorph because I'm starting to be like, eh, I don't really need it. I have like one or two points in there. That's arrow. Okay, so there's two arrow abilities. Then we need a fire one. So there's a fire. Uh, I think that's everything, really. Summon hungry flower. Oh. That requires a skill point, though. Still pretty cool. Why? Well, if I was going to summon, though, I'd rather summon... Um, something else, but that's pretty cool too. Epic Demic of Fire. Forced Exchange. Exchange Vitality percentages with a target character. Imagine accidentally. Um, flaming Tongues protect you immediately attacking and approaching enemies. Pretty cool. Poison wave. Damn, now I'm starting to... Oh my god, chat. What have you guys done? <laughs> There's so many cool combinations that I can do now. Alright, let's... Let's try these. Uh, but I think I might need, like... How many summoning books do I have right now? So I have... I have one, two, three, four. So I have four and there's one. Where are they? Uh, there's... So, one... Wait, that's necromancy. One, one, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. Wait, who just bought the other ones? Oh, okay. 
All right, we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's just try these. And then I'll see if, if I need to buy more, I need to buy more. Yep, yep. Okay, so inventory. Or uh, no, this guy. Actually, actually, yeah, inventory first. Because I want to move these books to myself. This one I actually can go to the Red Prince. This one can stay with Ethan because I want him to actually learn it. I don't think any of that actually matter because I think it combines everything in the <laughs> yeah in this anyways. Okay. Uh, all right. So summoning one, boom, boom. All right, favorable wind. Let me make sure I'm not doing this for. Oh wait, I wanted to actually use some of these abilities. Where is it? This guy. Okay, so before I use any of these at all, learn that ability. I think the rest of these are pretty much free reign. Um, yeah. Cool. All right, yeah, now they're free reign. Gee. Okay, so. Except for that one. God damn it. Now, we're good. Uh, okay, so summoning and that combine. Electric infusion skill book. Changes the incarnate element to an electric. Okay, cool. There's one. Uh, so boom and boom combine. Poison infusion. Damn. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Ah, shit. So you need one ability in that? Smells worse over here <laughs> than a dozen rolls. Alright, I might have to respec some stuff. So we have so far we have electric and poison. This should be fire. Fire infusion. Then. Yeah, it's hot. It's hybrid. Okay. Gotcha. This is water, I think. Yep. How do I get an earth one? Curious. Healing tears. Whoa. Earth itself is laminated to your opinion, carrying, crying, which heals all allies that move close to you for up to three times. 